The damage was extensive in several areas and businesses looking to rebuild have turned to their insurers for claims to be processed and paid. South African state-owned insurer Sasria will settle valid claims for damage caused by public violence, strikes, riot and unrest. But I think one mustn't underestimate the psychological impact, um, the, the nature of the violence, uh, the manner in which it escalated within two or three days, um, and the fact that the malls were in the first line of attack. Um, it has been quite a uh, emotional and psychological impact on the industry as a whole. The damage to the country's economy was also significant. I think the um, the vulnerability displayed through these attacks, as well as you know the actual quantum and reach of you know 40 billion plus damage and all of that unemployment, you know, brought to a head all of the I suppose cracks in the foundation of of the country from an economic, political, and I suppose you know social perspective. The situation in several damaged shopping malls in KwaZulu Natal is complicated by additional criminal activity. We've had incidences of the construction mafia that have now invaded these sites and demanding payment. So, you know, that puts a whole new spin on whether you want to actually redevelop. And not forgetting that it is a quite complex situation where a lot of these property owners have huge bonds that they've taken from banks to build these shopping centres. So it's not something you can just, you know, um, uh, dust your hands off and leave. Foreign investors that are invested or thinking about getting involved in South African businesses understand the risks and rewards. We've actually had a couple of conversations in the last week with some international buyers, and most are seeing it as an isolated event. I think the million dollar is, you know, where to from here and what does the next couple of weeks look like? Is it a downward spiral or is there going to be hopefully a little bit of a recovery and governments <clears throat> putting some fundamental interventions in place? Economists have begun to quantify the damage to the country's economic growth. So we try to get a sense just of re the reduction in economic activity before you look at the damage to the assets. And we estimated that to be uh, 40 basis points impact on, on the growth. So our base case uh, scenario was for growth around 2.7%. That has since fallen to 2.3%. The country was struggling to emerge from a recession before COVID struck. And then the arson and looting occurred in the country's two major economic hubs. It set the country back and will require all hands on deck to restart the economy.